This is a special edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. We're going to take a look at small business in America and how the COVID-19 virus and pandemic has affected small business in America. Our guest is Luke Boyles. He's vice president of QuickBooks Capital. Welcome to the show, uh, Luke. Is it true that small business drives America? I believe so. Like you can see it like driving the jobs, uh, all, most of the job creation is small businesses, right? So it's critically important for the recovery and critically important for the small businesses to get back on the feet. How has, um, how has the coronavirus, COVID-19, affected small business in terms of hiring new people and all that? I mean, I know the answer, but I want to hear it from you as the expert. Sure. I mean, we can we can see it just looking down the street, right? Most of the small businesses on Main Street are just closed. So it doesn't feel like anybody's really hiring new workers right now, except for the few that have positive impact from COVID. But there's very few industries that even have, that do have that type of impact. So most companies are laying off or furloughing um, as, you, as you see it. Will we come out of this financially okay, do you think? And then I want to talk about the the uh, the plans for recovery, but do you think that we'll eventually financially recover? I think we will. It's just going to take time, uh, depending on how fast things start to open back up. Um, we, I'm not an economist, but um, it's some some see a V-shaped recovery, and that would be amazing. Like I'm rooting for that, and hopefully other small businesses are as well. So. How is QuickBooks involved in the PPP fund? Uh, first of all. And then the second part of that question is, what is the this fund? Yeah, let me let me start with what it is. So um, basically, uh, Congress enacted the CARES Act. And as part of, of that uh, legislation, they allocated $349 billion uh, to the Paycheck Protection Program called PPP. So uh, SBA, authorized SBA lenders and banks can make PPP loans to small businesses. Um, small businesses will qualify for up to two and a half times their average monthly payroll. Um, and they're actually able to apply for forgiveness on those loans on a go-forward basis. So these loans may not have to be paid back as long as the small business continues to pay their payroll uh, and continues to pay some other qualifying expenses like rent and utilities. So the intent of the program really is to make sure people keep their jobs um, and do it through the small businesses. Um, the, the why uh, QuickBooks is involved is really two things. Um, one, we have an automated lending business called QuickBooks Capital, technology enabled. Uh, we've applied that technology to the PPP program. So we're an authorized SBA lender under this program. Uh, if you're a payroll customer of Intuit or a self-employed customer that filed through TurboTax, we're able to completely automate the application uh, for most people. So you come in, you can review your payroll calculation you can just then review your personal information and business information, um, validate a few items and make a few attestations, um, and then your, your application is effectively complete once you, once you click to e-sign it. So it's, it takes most customers less than 10 minutes to fill out that application. Um, wow. The second piece is... I'm, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I talked to somebody last week, and she said she spent a weekend filling out paper after paper after paper. And had she gone to QuickBooks and she uses QuickBooks in her business. If that she was a payroll taken. customer, it could have taken her less than 10 minutes. Um, so that's like, that's the uniqueness of what we're able to offer here because we do run payroll uh, for these small businesses. Is there still money there? Is it too late or will there be more money if they run out and that's they being the government? Yeah, so uh, the, the Senate met on Monday and passed a bill that allocates another $320 billion to this program. The House meets today uh, to pass the same bill. So the president should sign it today, and we're hoping it opens up, um, if not late tonight, tomorrow. Um, the problem, though, is that money is going to be gone very quickly. Like Most of the banks have stacked up tons of applications for this program, um, as are we. Like We're encouraging our customers to apply right now because... If they don't apply beforehand, the money's going to be gone before they get their application in. Uh, so people need to get their application in quickly. One of the things that that strikes me is that this makes QuickBooks has made this quite easy, and at the same time, other 
other lenders, uh, it seems to be more complicated. You've streamlined the process, haven't you? We have. It's like the whole like our, our whole goal here is to to serve the underserved small businesses, right? So if you look at our customer base, we we have six million small businesses that uh, use the QuickBooks accounting software. We have. Um, we have uh, 1.4 million that we pay payroll on behalf of. So we pay uh, one in 12 working Americans on behalf of the 1.4 million small businesses that we work with. Um, and if you look at what the average payroll run is, like 80% of these small businesses have less than 10 employees. Um, 57% have less than five employees. So we really are serving these underserved mom and pop main street style small businesses that have, have been having difficulty getting uh, like funding through the PPP program from their local banks. So we're mm -hmm. trying to we're trying to give them. I access. keep hearing about you know small businesses closing, especially restaurants, that may not open up again. I mean, which is awful. I mean, you spend your whole life working, and you have to give up because you can't pay your rent uh, during the stay-at-home order. No, it's, can, it's, it's heartbreaking, right? We, yeah. we see these customer stories like constantly, people calling in and talking to us saying they had the, the hardest decision they ever had to make before this was like, whether they had to lay off their employees or not. And the second, the second hardest decision is, okay, I, I, I got to lock the door. I can't, I can't pay rent. Like I got to shut the business down. Like it's heartbreaking. We see that through, like we have millions of customers, right? And we see that over and over again across the United States. And it's just heartbreaking. We're trying it is to help a, anyway yeah, can. there was a story uh, locally here in the Los Angeles area a few days ago about a restaurant who wants to reopen. He's getting ready, but he has to cut his staff. And he's he's he is, as you said, he's heartbroken because some of these people have been with him for years. It's it, yeah, it, they're, they're their friends. They're friends and colleagues. It's not just employees. Right. Uh, what sets QuickBooks apart? from the other lenders again? I, I think mean, really it's your, the, your own bank, for for example. Sure. Um, if you go into your bank, you'll have to take a, a stack of documents. You'll need your articles of incorporation. You'll need your 941 tax form on the payroll side, or you'll need to take in a Schedule C um, and then proof of identity and other documentation. Um, if you are if you happen to be a QuickBooks customer, um, you, you, we have that data internally. If you, if you consent to letting us underwrite you with that data, uh, with your data, um, we can make it a seamless process. Like that was the intent of the QuickBooks Capital business when we got started. Like let's make lending easy, and we were able to quickly pivot and and turn on the PPP program for our small business customers. So we're doing everything we can. Do you think it we it will be funded? There will be plenty of money for everybody, or the first first come first serve, just like in an ice cream line. It is first come first serve. Um, I think. We hope that Congress will continue to add money until the demand is met. Uh, there was a $349 billion round initially. There's another 320 coming hopefully today. Um, and we hope that they come back again and again until it gets to a trillion or two trillion. Whatever the small businesses need, like we will not come out of this recovery unless the small businesses are there and hiring and growing. Um, Got it. Well, I hope Congress uh, Pat gets you know off their duffs. They've got a paycheck. And everybody else in the country needs one as well. Uh, what is the process? How should a small business apply for these? What are the, what's the uh, the way to do it? Yeah, you can either go to your local community bank or local bank, uh, take your documents in, or come to QuickBooks. Just log into your QuickBooks account or your QuickBooks self-employed account uh, and see if you qualify. And if you if you happen to be in the eligible population within our QuickBooks population, then do it through us. But if not, um, we actually, it, uh, we actually have the ability to produce a payroll form as well that you can go to your local bank that has that kind of done for you. That wraps up this edition of Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Our guest has been Luke Voiles, Vice President of QuickBooks Capital. If you want information, you can find out more by going to quickbooks.com slash PPP. It's on our screen right now. We'll see you next time.